To pray with authority and power is essential for us to digest and learn the fundamental principles of our Christian faith. As we pray through the firm foundations of our faith, may you be encouraged and strengthened. Our first foundational truth is that the Bible is the inspired and infallible Word of God. We're reading through 2 Timothy 3, verses 14 to 17. It reads, But as for you, continue in what you have learned and have become convinced of, because you know those from whom you learned it, and how from infancy you have known the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting and training in righteousness, so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. Lord, we thank you that you are calling us, Lord, to examine the foundations of our faith. Lord, these foundations are essential to us understanding who you are and who we are in you. Lord, as we pray through these foundations, I pray, Lord, that you would fill us again. Lord, you would renew our minds. Lord, you would iron out anything, Lord, that's wrong in our thinking, Lord God. Lord, we thank you for the scriptures. Lord, we thank you for the Bible. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you've shown us and you've taught us, Lord, that the Bible is the inspired and infallible word of God that you have orchestrated for our benefit to know you and to get to know your ways, your nature, to get to know the promises and the plans that you have for each of our lives. We thank you, Lord, that it teaches us all matters of faith and conduct. Everything that we need to know about our Christian faith is in the Bible, is in the scriptures, Lord. And everything we need to know about how we should live as Christians is in the Bible, it's in the scriptures. So Lord, today, Lord, where we are often looking for answers in other places, Lord, help us to re-establish the fact that we need to go to you. We need to go to the word for the answers. We need to go to your word, Lord God, for the answers. Lord, we need to meditate on your word, Lord God, for the answers. Lord, rather than seeking self-help manuals and conversations from other people, Lord, and, you know, well wishes, comments about what is and what isn't. Lord, help us to always seek you, Lord God. Help us to come before you, Lord, and and understand that you are the one, Lord, that has the answers to everything we're looking for. Lord, whether that's, you know, a new job that we're looking for, or whether that's moving to another country or doing something that we think we should be doing. Lord, help us to seek you, not man for the answers, but to seek you. Lord, would you give us that rhema word, Lord God? Would you quicken us to hear and see that rhema word, the word that you often quicken when we read the Bible, when a word jumps out at our hearts and and, and really resonates with us, Lord. So Lord, we just pray for those rhema words over everyone's situation. We thank you, Lord, that as we've read here, Lord God, that everything we need is in the scripture. Lord, we thank you that you are the orchestrator of all scripture, Lord. You inspired man and you inspired man to write what was on your heart, Lord. And it's no accident that everything we need is in the Bible. Lord, sometimes people say that sounds really simplistic. How can you believe in the scriptures? But Lord, we thank you, Lord, that the scriptures are supernatural in their inception. God, that you had a plan for each person that was going to write each part of those scriptures. You had a plan for how the Bible was going to be put together and which scriptures would be sustained. And Lord, though many have tried over the years to destroy the Bible, burn the Bible, get rid of the Bible, say that the Bible is wrong, change the Bible, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, that the Bible still stands, Lord God. Lord, the Old Testament scriptures and the New Testament scriptures still stand. We thank you, Lord, that there's no error, Lord God. There's no issue. There's no problem with the scriptures, Lord God. And Lord, where the enemy is continually trying to challenge your word, Lord, and say that it's not relevant or say that, you know, it's wrong, Lord God, we just thank you that you are building your church, you're establishing the truth and the foundational principles that are in the Bible. Lord, help us to meditate on them, help us to accept them, Lord. Lord, where we are fighting against scripture because we want to do our own thing and we're in rebellion, Lord, we repent, Lord, and we just thank you that your word stands, your word stands the test of time. Lord, you are the first and the last, Lord, you're the Alpha and the Omega, Lord, you are the beginning and the end, Lord. Lord, all your scripture 
is God breathed, everything. And Lord, everything that we need also to teach us, to rebuke us, correct us, and train us in righteousness. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you do teach us, Lord, that salvation is through faith in Christ Jesus. Would that foundation sit in our hearts also from this scripture? Salvation is only through faith in Christ Jesus. And the scriptures are God-breathed for our benefit, Lord, so that we can do every good work that you've called us to. Thank you. Thank you that you're teaching us. You're reminding us of these foundational truths, Lord. Help them sit and burn a hole in our hearts today, Lord. And even as we pray over the next few minutes in our own words and, and possibly just actually repent for the areas that we haven't looked to you for in the Bible, Lord, would you help us again? Would you breathe new life on your word? And as we read it, Lord, would it be illuminated? As we pray about your word, Lord, would you illuminate it to us afresh as we pray in our own words? In Jesus' name.